Root setting is one of the most difficult jobs in the indoor climbing world. And ever since what is believed to be the first climbing wall in the world that was built in 1939 Sherman Rock, Seattle, root setting has evolved rapidly. Before, root setters would often take inspiration from the oldest root setter, planet Earth, and replicate outdoor climbs indoors. Now, root setters' creativity has gone far beyond that, giving us amazing roots and boulders to climb on. For the most part, setters don't have too many rules to follow when it comes to their own creativity. However, in competitions, there are a few safety rules that the root setters must follow. But what happens when there's an extremely eccentric and creative climber that tests not only the intended beta, but tests the rule of safety by breaking the beta? I'm of course talking about Slovenia's Yerne Kruder. Before we see today's beta breaks, we first have to check out IFSC's safety guidelines, specifically page 24, section 7.3. It states rules about how boulders should be designed. One being that the lowest part of the body of the competitor shall never be higher than 3 meters above the landing mat. Two, so as to avoid the danger of a competitor falling on anything or anyone. And three, without any downwards jumps. Yerne Kruder is an extremely powerful and eccentric climber with an explosive style and personality. Anytime he tops, you can expect this kind of reaction. On the top. So that will put him into first place. And we've just seen the legs he rubs off have an absolute battle on that and that will get it done. Yerne Kruder, yeah. yeah. That's why people like seeing him in the finals. Oh, this puts such a good show, yeah. The crowd's getting crazy here. Yerne is no stranger when it comes to breaking the beta, and sometimes he takes the word break and really applies it quite literally. Oh, and a very low fall from Yerne, but calm. But aside actually breaking the root, he has some of the most creative beta breaks such as this clip from Instagram, where he went completely feet first to send the boulder. In the background, you can even hear an expletive because of how cheeky this beta is. You can see a combination of his powerful style and creative thinking during the Guangzhou 2018 China Open bouldering round. During this problem, most climbers thought it to be a double clutch dyno. Immediately on Yerde's first attempt, he saw a unique solution, applying a flying heel hook. And after falling on the first attempt, he immediately jumped back on and tried again successfully. Out of all the ways I could describe Yerne, I would describe him as highly committing. When he sees a move in his sights, he goes 100% all in and almost never hesitates. So during the 2018 Meidingen Boulder World Cup, he did exactly that and fully committed. During men's number 3, the boulder problem featured a move that was extremely new to climbers. On Yudo Newman's Instagram, you can see the intended beta for this problem, where you turn 180 degrees into the wall. However, because of how new this type of move was, most climbers hadn't practiced this type of move. During the boulder problem, there were a whole slew of methods tried to get past the zone hold. Most involved going into the corner and creeping slowly over to the right. The only other top of this boulder came from Tobo and Arasaki who did his own sort of beta break by pressing his thumb into the panels to help him bounce across. It's for a panel join, a bit of a thumb catch on a panel edge, I believe that is. That is legal. Now just wiggling himself across. He is on the left foot, but I think he's going to have to head down here. He's got himself in position. We're really going to struggle to move out of here. Goes for the Manu Kornu method, just drops down. 100% commitment there. 
if that didn't go right, he feel like he might have lost his front teeth. But now gets himself up. This is looking good from Tomoa. Tomoa Narasaki. One minute 40 left on the clock. He may not need much time because he's on the second to last hold. He's eyeing up the top. Just trying to figure out what to do with that right hand. And there it is. The Tomoa pop. However, the beta break that Yerne Kruder and Russia's Alexei Rubsov found was by downing downwards. Now, wait a minute, didn't I just say in the beginning that downwards dinos were against the rules? Well, in this case, because the intended beta was supposed to be something other than a downward dino, and other climbers found solutions without downward dinoing, this was completely legal. No officials or coaches also made appeals, so the boulder stood. Downward dinos can be scary and dangerous due to the possibility of injury. However, knowing that, Yerne committed to the idea and broke the beta. You know, they're reading the, what the chalk tells them effectively. Yerne Kruda, I think, might fire down to that zone hold and then have to start rebuilding, mantling back up. Here he goes again for another attempt. Looking quite comfortable on the blue screw on, on the set of white holds there. Pushes into the corner again. It's a long way down, that is level with his right foot, the next handhold, is incredible leg strength there. Incredible flexibility. Oh, he makes it stick, incredible flexibility, I was going to say, to keep himself, keep that left knee in against the wall. And now, really could be getting somewhere. What a journey this boulder is, all the way up, and then all the way back down again, just to go back up again. So just before we see a wide shot, just to give you some idea, there's a small white hole, there it is, and there's the top above it. And Yerne, looking pretty promising here. It's a good top hole, it's not a great one. It's good enough for Yerne Kruder though. Look at that. Never won a World Cup, and he's now got three tops on the first three boulders. I was about to say what he needs to do is just calm down and dial it down for the fourth boulder, but he's done that on every other boulder, and it doesn't seem to have held him back, so... Yerne Kruder went on to win this competition, his first bouldering World Cup win. Yerne showed us that having an amazing personality and committing to ideas 100% can often lead to success. Whether it be a flying heel hook or a downwards dino, there is always a way to solve any problem that setters or life hands you. Thanks Yerne so much for brightening the world with your excitement and keep crushing it. And before I go, I leave you with this downwards dino that Yerne most definitely didn't intend.